All right, the EG4 solar mini split total cost breakdown. Had a lot of people asking in the comments what the total cost of this unit was for us to install. And of course, everybody's unit is gonna be just a little bit different. My name is Rodney, and if you're into DIY solar and self-reliance, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. All right, the total cost, we're gonna go over everything that we used to get this system up and running on solar and on the grid, and then you can decide for yourself if it's gonna be worth it. And remember, all this equipment is going to be linked up down in the description. So if you click those links, it's going to help out the channel. And I do appreciate it. You don't have to use them, but it's not going to cost you any more money. So we're going to start off with the 24K or the two-ton mini split unit from uh, EG4 that's sold by Signature Solar. That thing is $1,999. And of course, they have d different units. They have the 12K and they have a 9K unit that does not run on solar but it is more efficient. So if you want one of those units, hey, you can go check those out as well. And then we had the solar panels. We used six of the Solar Ever 455 watt solar panels, and they're about $255 a piece. Just remember, you only need six, but to order them from Signature Solar and a lot of places, you can have a minimum order and you have to order 10 from them. You can always order the panel somewhere else or try to get them locally if you don't want to spend that extra money for a future project so you have extra four panels or just go ahead and buy your whole pallet just depending on what you want to do. But I'm just going to get the cost of the actual six that we used since we're using the other four on a different project. But I just want you to know that up front that there is a minimum of 10 so they don't get messed up on a pallet. So that right there, those six solar panels are going to be $1,530. And remember, I'm not including shipping and tax. I'm going to do that at the end. And then you're going to need about 50 feet of PV wire, depending on your setup. You may need a little bit more. You may need a little less, but that's what we used. And that was $64. And then we mounted them on a roof, a metal roof. So we needed the mini rails to put them on. We needed about 18 of those. And those ended up being about $117. And then, of course, you're going to need something to mount the solar panels with on those rails. So you're going to need the mid clamps and the end clamps. And those are going to end up being about $27, so not that expensive at all. And then you're going to need a disconnect switch going from your roof, your PV panels, to your unit. And that's I got the IMO disconnect from Signature Solar, and that was about $90. And then, of course, if you want to put it on the grid, this is where the cost difference is really going to come into effect because, you know, depending on where you put your unit and how much wire you need to tie in the grid and how much conduit you're going to need, this could be a big price difference. But we had to run at a pretty good distance and the total cost basically for the wire, the AC breaker, the conduit, the disconnect, everything was $542. And that's including the grounds and the ground wires and all that stuff. And then with tax and shipping for everything that was from Signature Solar, that's about another $525. But of course, there's gonna be a big difference in this depending on what state you live in. Your taxes might be higher, the shipping rate might be higher, your shipping rate might be lower, your taxes might be lower. So the total cost for this whole system for us was $4,894. And to me, it is a deal because it's gonna be running on solar during the day, so you're gonna save on your electric bill Plus, if the grid ever goes down, you know, a part of that self-reliance is going to be able to run your air conditioner without the grid or without any input from anybody else. So you can go ahead and make that decision for yourself if this cost is justified, because you can look at it like this. You can get a regular two-ton unit, and a lot of times they're going to be four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000, depending on who's installing it, and this is what you're doing it yourself. So to me, it's definitely worth it because you're going to be running on solar during the day and it's going to be a lot more efficient to run at night. And I'm going to have a video coming out soon that's going to show how efficient and how much money my buddy's saving at his house with his mini split and not running his big HVAC system. And it's pretty unbelievable. So you're going to want to subscribe and stick around for that. And remember, if you have any questions about this, hey, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below if I missed anything, you know, because I'm always missing something on this video. So go ahead and let me know what I missed. And thanks for watching.